it's been great. They, uh, you know, we, we put it to bed on Sunday and started uh, practice on Tuesday, yesterday, and uh, they uh, had, a, you know, had a great practice today, and we'll have a polish it up tomorrow. The game plan's already in, so I expect them to be fine. How did, did Marquise handle things any differently this week than he does any other time? Nope, handle exactly the same, and I, that's what I expect. You know, I want him to handle everything exactly the same way. Marquis said he got a call from Peyton Manning and some other uh, veteran quarterbacks this week. How does it help a guy in his position to hear from uh, experienced players who have been in the same spot as him? Well, it's that's got to be uh, you know a tremendous help because I, I can only say so much. I didn't play the position, and that that position is pretty special. I mean, you again, you get uh, how did, I said it wrong today. I know, but you get you know you get too much credit when you win, and you get too much blame when you lose, and that's just the way it is. That's the nature of the beast. So you have to understand that, and that's why you have to stay consistent the way you handle all your, everything, good or bad. When people are patting him on the back, it ought to be exactly the same way. What does it say about Marquise that? The, the number of guys who are very highly regarded did call and what they obviously think about him enough to make uh, that phone call. Yeah, he's, got, he's got a lot of respect out there. You know, he's got a lot of respect on this football team. So, uh, you know, he just didn't didn't play as well as he wanted to the other night. It happens. You guys announced this series today with UNC Charlotte. You're playing a t this week. What are the, from your perspective for this program, what are the benefits to playing those lo other local programs that maybe aren't quite at the same level? And do those outweigh the risks? Yeah, I, I think it's good. I think it's good for one to uh, to play within the state of North Carolina. I think it's good for the state of North Carolina. You know, so uh, you know why not? So I mean, I think it, I think it's good. Thanks for what recruiting advantage to that to playing. Every time we can be, uh, you know, and have any any you know any any sense of being around the Charlotte area is a good thing for us. How anxious you sense the guys are ready to get back out and play a game? Oh, they they are. They want to get back out and play. That's what they want to do. Those you extra know? two days is kind of make it seem like longer than an extra two days? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it actually makes it longer than just two days. Yeah. Because there's, there's two extra days. Yeah. yeah. What are the things you saw on the defensive line, good and bad, from Thursday? They were they were solid Thursday, you know, and that's what that's what we thought. When we evaluated them, you know, we didn't think they uh, played great. We didn't think they played bad. We just thought they were solid. You know, there, there were some instances where they where they controlled the line of scrimmage, and there were some instances where they didn't. And so we just got to be more consistent and step up our play each week. Jan, consistency is there anything you're particularly looking for out of them to improve on? Uh, well, I mean, you're, we're going to always say that we're, we want them to be the most physical unit on the field. And so that, I mean, we're still working on that every week. Do you I mean, sense any difference in confidence with the guys defensively that they built confidence, I guess, leading up to the game, but to have a game where you play capably, you you know, you hang in there, you play solid, did that change anything for them? I think it, uh, it, it, it just uh, probably emphasizes them that the things they're being taught, the things they're doing, if they'll, if they'll use the techniques and the fundamentals that the coaches are teaching them in this scheme, they can be successful with it. And I think it just you know, it kind of reiterated what every coach has been saying to them, and they just, you know, they picked up on it, and I think they've gained some confidence in doing that. As a coach, when you see guys, see what y'all have been preaching, do you breathe a sigh of relief knowing they can oh, buy in? Yeah, you bet. You bet. When it goes the other way, it's not a good, it's not a good feeling. So, yeah, it is good. It's good to, it's good for them to see some, you know, see some success and just to see more confidence in their faces and in their eyes. When there's a significant talent advantage and numbers advantage in terms of scholarships like you're going to have this weekend, what, what can you really learn out of a game? Like how, what kind of team we are because it'll, a lot will be said about how we approach this team. You know, I mean, this team can beat us just like any other team can beat us. And so it's all about our attitude and our mindset, the way we approach a football game. It should be no different than the way we approach the last one. And that's what we're striving for, consistency, that the next game is the most important game. And that's all there is. And so I ought to see the same type of, I ought to see the same type of energy in practice during the week. And I ought to see everything should be exactly the same.